Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough where I decided instead of the moon I should probably follow Peach. Because it's kind of progressive in a way, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go world to world wherever she goes and then, you know, finish off whatever as we go. So next, this time, Cascade Kingdom it is. Skip, 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 go, 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 go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <sighs> Loading screen. I did not miss you. <laughs> Alright, where's the moon block this time? Hmm? Way up at the top by the boss arena. The moon rock here is glowing too. Let's be sure to check that. Okay, but you know what I should do really quick? There was an outfit that I didn't use. <laughs> like, I, I only used it for a very short amount of time. I believe it was the painter outfit, I thought. Yeah, I think so. So I thought, mm, yeah, why, not, why not put it on here? Kind of spice things up. There we go. And we leave the doggy behind. And quickest warp I think is this one because that's at the top of the falls the other one is down below like in the middle of yeah and anyway you can already hear Princess Peach is hanging up here she's in her explorer's garb be careful you don't get so entranced by the big waterfall that you fall well there's no fall damage so it's not that big of a deal I used, used to come here a lot when I was little note a moon power moon fell over the waterfall, but don't worry, it seems fine. How the heck did you get that? Well, Beach in the Cascade Kingdom is complete! <laughs> Come to think of it, I'd like to see those big ruins in the desert again. So, she's heading over to the Sand Kingdom next. Alright, so... You guys can fire your way at the wrong direction, because you go where I was last, not where I am currently. And what the? What are you doing here? I heard there was a real caveman around here. I'd love to meet one. Nothing about you is saying caveman to me right now. Oh, I actually do have to... I forgot I have to change outfits back to the caveman. Well, not right now! I'm, I'm wearing the painters! <laughs> I'm gonna work from the bottom up anyway, so... Yeah. And... Let's puzzle it up! With a whole bunch of unlocks! What's the damage? That eh, can't be that bad. I mean, it's a small kingdom, right? Right? Oh no! Oh, it's a lot! <laughs> Alright, so, got those pooped out of there. So, as I said, bombs to the tops. So let's start actually from the beginnings, so for the sake of organization and whatnot. Alright, yeah, we got Koopa free running going on over here now, by the way. It's another post-game dealio, but uh, first thing here, I thought it was like on the power line or something, actually. Uh, well, let's just take a peek-see up here. Or maybe it's actually referring to the binoculars? I thought this had something to do with it, because there's stuff floating in the sky. Yeah, there's... <laughs> there's Shinx hanging out on there. <laughs> I told you it's on one, uh, one, at least one of them. And... Moon. Yay! Alright, so we got that one now. Yay! Sphinx traveling to the waterfall. Is that the one? That really was not the one? Oh, what was the one then? <laughs> it was like directly above the power line here. It's probably something really high up and something... I just want to kind of loop the camera around. I mean, I could always just peek at it from the other side if I really wanted to. Hmm. Yes, I, I just talked to you! You don't need to talk again! <laughs> Uh, maybe it was over the cliff or something. Don't quite remember. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we could do Koopa free running, but <laughs> let's do it. Ow. There's two of those to take care of anyway, so 
I'll ponder that moon and get to others. <laughs> With the roaming racers, we roam the globe, racing in every kingdom that we can get to. Our race pro will get a prize if you win. I'm in. That's the spirit. Race us to the goal. Yeah, that was the same dialogue. I'll just skip, 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 and skip some more. So we gotta get up to that side where the 8-bit area is. The, the shortest way is to go underneath the waterfall where those cloud platforms are. But it's a little bit on the tricky side to actually get something su Fantastic. <laughs> to get something super speedy out of it. So, I mean, I almost got something smooth there, but not not good enough for the master class, although I thought that before. <laughs> oh, I thought, oh, wait, that's actually, oh, I forgot, it's up over here, and then you do a flipper, oh, poopers. Yeah, I forgot the exact move here. Yeah, that's, and you're supposed to go up through here, up through, like so. <laughs> oh, no, no. How am I doing so poorly here? <laughs> They're gonna whoop me with no trouble. Actually, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm way, way too far past. <laughs> Can I just like? Oops! I wanna restart. Yeah, that was just a horrible, horrible move of trying to <laughs> trying to slap at the cloud platforms. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a lot smoother than it was the other time, I tell you. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to show you the... I, I guess you could say simplest method, but... Oh, wait, no, 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 it's not... No, 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 not that one. Not that rock. There we go, all right. And we hop over here. And... Uh, no. Dang it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Son of a RCS. Okay. That was just so clunky. That is not gonna get you a world record. <laughs> Got me the win to the race, but that was still... That was still... I think you'd actually skip those cloud platforms. Uh, for... Like, with some hat jumps and stuff like that, but... That is the path you want to take anyway. So, Cascade Kingdom Regular Cup. Yada yada yada. <laughs> we know the deal. Next up, new racer, of course. We know the deal. <laughs> So, we go again, and this time we've got a sparkly golden Koopa of Doom. And this Koopa, this could be one of the hardest races because of this Koopa, actually. <laughs> oh, I want to do a long jump. Yeah, okay. Ooh, yeah, okay. No, whoa, go, 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 go! So yeah, I gotta line myself up properly with the correct rock this time. So here we go. This was the one here. Go. Oh, no. Boink. <sighs> Mother of Arceus. <laughs> and it's just so hard to do it smoothly. That's my main issue here. <laughs> okay, we got we got this. We got this. We got that. We, we all might not to have this. Okay. Well, at least I was better in my first run for once. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's definitely not world record material, but eh, eh, okay, we got it. Doesn't matter, we got it. <laughs> Cascade Kingdom Master Cup, yeah, and new dialogue, nah, I didn't think so. Alright, so where's our next destination? Over here? Oh, the rabbits. Of course, there's a moon rabbit. Ooh. I knew that jump was gonna be under hit, under shot. Well, <laughs> I was just trying to like <laughs> trying to get my hat in a hand, handy dandy position here. What? Well, well, that might work. That might work. Oh, 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 oh yeah! Just as long as you stun it, you can get yourself into a lot easier position taking care of it. Otherwise, it's way way too fast for our Mario legs. Uh, let's see here, something. Was it underneath the... Oh, yeah, yeah, it was underneath the bridge where that glowing light is. Just kind of plop in here. And ground pound. Yeah! This is rapid fire moon collecting time. Oh, clock! And, you know, I could actually go and do that painting now, too, but 
I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna mess with my timestamps. So <laughs> let's leave that for now. Just like I'm gonna leave the one at the top of the uh, whole structure. Because <laughs> he's got wearing the artist outfit. Uh, straight ahead. Well, obviously not straight ahead, but I mean like around the mountain. Uh, what could that be referring to? It is nearby up there. Some. Well, uh, maybe that's not one that I, I can get on my way up then. <laughs> Wait a second, isn't there? It's like... Uh, I thought there was something glowy that I seen there, unless it was just puffs of smoke. Uh, wait, no, no, wait! This is not the up top of the mountain, this is just a regular path. Never mind, never mind, I'm being dumb. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, it might actually be in one of these things to break apart. Hey there! You don't mind if I use your body, do you? I just break apart a couple of things here just by walking into them. Or just casual destruction of everything you know and love. Sure, why not? Just kind of whip this into shape until I get to, into some sort of clear area. There we go. Now I can take a look back around here. So... Uh, it's not referring to a door, is it? Oh, it's underneath the T-Rex. Oh, that's... uh. That's a lot simpler. <laughs> Under the ground. So I guess I didn't see the glowing spot because the T-Rex... Wait for it! Wait for it! I said wait for it. I wanted to show it poof back into existence. Come on! <laughs> ah! Man! Man, maybe it's not gonna do it for me. <laughs> Gotta get far enough away for it to poof back into existence, maybe? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Because, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's like under its chin or something like that, based on the... Man! Man, I'm not going to be able to show that poof, will I? Okay, let's continue on. Uh, actually, I think we want to go... Underneath... Well, not underneath. Um, I thought there was a moon pipe somewhere. Uh, well, maybe not there, I thought it was. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here, but I mean, in some sort of on the pathway, basically. I think those other moons are directly above here. One of them is, of course, changing outfits, as mentioned earlier, but... By the way, uh, now that you know what these things are, yeah, these are really, really broken down ships. I didn't point that out before, because it was kind of a... Kind of a secret what the ships actually looked like, uh, the way that the game went. Um... Well, oh yeah, there's that way over, over there now. There's a whole pathway of, <laughs> of stuff here. This is not oh, oh, yeah. fantastic playing PPM, but yeah, there's a little pathway there now that there wasn't before. I mean, yeah, we did go across a uh, moving platform segment through that before, all the way here, <laughs> but it wasn't. Uh, Actually, that probably is the most efficient warping place, but it wasn't the same kind of platforming segment. This is a different dealio with clouds and stuff like that, so let's drop that back down here. And this time if I die, I'll start back up there. How handy is that? <laughs> okay, so just be careful, and remember these are timed, so you can't just dilly-dally on them all day and all night. You could probably just like do some, do some sort of like fancy jump to get to that from some sort of really high location, but yeah, I'll just do it the normal way. Everything will be just fine. There we go, and post-game moon complete. Just a hat skip and a jump indeed. Now what you might want to do here is wait for all these platforms to turn back into their cloudy platform uh, thingajiggers before you get back, or, you know, you can just warp. <laughs> That'll work just fine too, because, you know, Warping is a lot faster than jumping back the other way. It's basically the same, just in reverse. Now, inside the 8-bit area, there's a notes. So let's go ahead and take some notes. Uh, I wonder if I should actually clear the way before I hit that note. Or maybe it won't let me. Nah, it's not going to let me. Ah, okay. So I'll just rush on up to the top here. And you notice that you can't actually collect, you, ah, collect notes by just hitting them with a block underneath, just like a regular coin. And you get a moon for your troubles, which really wasn't that much of a trouble, now was it? Yeah! Hurry upward is completed. And out we go. 
Now on this platform, there's a couple of giblets. Was it long? Or maybe... Ah, that's where one of them was. Can I just, like, just skip the hats? Oh! I did it again! Just, like, over by Shinx on the moon! <laughs> it's like a similar kind of moon and everything. Um... Okay. So that... There's one more around this part. I think you actually need to chomp and break apart those... Uh, like, bony structure type things up there. I think. Maybe. Might be. Dang it! You and your one block size difficult to get <laughs> difficult to get through such sizes. Okay, I'm gonna lead you. Actually, I think the closer run is this one here. Not the one on the other side. There we go. And let's destroy! Hey, camera, 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 destroy! <laughs> uh, is that the one? I think that was... Uh, no, it was this one, I guess. I was a little bit off then. Maybe I do have to use this one then. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. Transformed it into a mustache fiend that... Doesn't reach? Come on, I don't believe that in one one bit. There's gotta be some way to explode that. Eek. Huh. Really? Interesting. Hmm. 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 Because hmm. this one is definitely closer to that edge than the other one is. Crit oh, maybe I was supposed to pool ball them. Because you get a little extra stretch out of that. Let's try that. Just gotta, gotta kind of lead him around here. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, you, this way. Uh, let's try the pool ball method. No, 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 no. Dang it. Come on. Pool balling it up. I'm gonna go back to the center, and then I can try... Dang it! <laughs> this is a lot harder to lead him around than I thought it would be. Maybe I should try, actually, the opposite way here. Like, leading that one over there to that side, and then pool balling. Maybe? Let's see. Maybe. And, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Pretty sure it was Chain Chomp related. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, it doesn't hurt if you get knocked out of it, it just wastes time. Uh, yeah, definitely nothing glowing there. Yeah, okay. Try it again. Yeah, I, I, it, it sure looks like that it would have to be that particular Chain Chomp here. Unless I'm supposed to do like a, a cut shot or something like that. From one Chain Chomp to the other at a very, very steep angle. And I don't think so. Alright. Alright, mister. <laughs> I just kind of took a shot in the dark there. Come on, uh, this has got to be the right method. Oh! Well, that might have actually been it. Just leading him over there and then pool balling. Yeah, like something... Oh yeah, that, that was the way! Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Yup, we almost got this. <laughs> yeah, over this way. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> that was a little bit off angle, but... You just need to get him a little bit more to the left here. There we go. Yes! Yes! True pool balls. How do I take a hit there? <laughs> Alright. Boop, oh, I boop, I say. Inside the busted fossil. And since I probably did a few cutsies there, I think I'll do one more via that pipe over there. Little moon pipey. Sound goody? I think it does. Boop. Oh! I say, boop. Are you telling me that I'm not centered enough to s just sluck, suck straight down into it? Okay. That wow, is that specific? <laughs> I don't know why there's an outline for this. We know what those blocks do by now. Alright, so uh, there's a block up there. I don't know if I want to, like, unless it. So take a peek up there, actually, just kind of... Yeah... Hmm... Hmm... Where is that? Is that shadow being cast from there, or...? Because it's... How would that... How does that even work? I don't know, I'll get a... I'll get a higher vantage point at that anyway. There's two moons in here, as you've seen on the map. Uh, with the pipe marking and stuff like that, so... Just take your time, look around. I don't remember where the other moon... Well, I guess there's that one, but I don't... 
No wait, that, that was the secret moon. Cause yeah, the main moon is all the way at the end there. Okay. So we go up there, I guess, somehow. I think I gotta do it from the other side, actually. Wait, should I bother hitting these? I don't know if I Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Saved! And you know what I actually could do? Yeah, I could hit him from the top. Like, why would I, why would I want to do it from the lower area anyway? It seems a little too risky if I'm gonna play like that. Okay. Oop. Well, it's not really. I want to hit the hat. <laughs> Please. Please hit the. Thank you. It's <laughs> more awkward way to do it, but yeah, that's what I thought. And we continue. Down this path. Yeah, you just do homing attacks the whole way. And voila! Atop a wall among the clouds. And should I just do some fanciness here? Should I just do some fanciness? I think I should. Just to speed things along. Okay, guys. You guys have gotta go. Otherwise you're gonna get in my way of my jump timing. You can you can stay down there. You're the lone survivor. <laughs> Yeah, I get on here. Yeah, I think that block is like it, it may be attached to up there, but it casts a shadow down on the platform for some reason. I don't know. Or maybe it's maybe it's the whole stick that's holding this up because it's really vertical or something like that too. Maybe, maybe. I mean, that was bad timing on my part. It had no grabbing. There we go. And no homing ability to grab onto that. There we go. Complete across the mysterious clouds. Now, thank you. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe I should trans, like, cha change into the caveman outfit and check out that top there, just for the sake of completions. Because I mentioned him this part, and I probably should do it just for the sake of no. <laughs> that. Clothing wardrobe, I swear. Wait, what was... Oh, it was this. Plus that. There we go. Perfect! Can I warp straight up there from inside here? I cannot. What a disappointment. <laughs> Alright, you got your fill of the painter's outfit, I suppose, anyway, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and we go. Oh yeah, there's still that uh, moon way back at the start there, which I still don't quite remember, but we'll, I'll find that. I'll figure it out again. I heard there's a real caveman around here. A caveman! I'm such a fan of your work! I'd, love, I'd like you to have this! And yeah! Caveman, cave fan, heck yeah! Someday, maybe I'll take up caveman. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? You know what? Since I've used this outfit for a while, I will change back to the painter's outfit. How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 okay. Always wait for that A button to appear, otherwise you're going to be very, very disappointed. <laughs> Obviously you can mix and match these two, but I don't, I don't know, I just kind of like to show them in their groups as you go, because it's not really any different mixing and matching them as opposed to just showing them as one as I get them because it just seems a lot more I don't know it's a lot quicker showing them that way than you know, like as I go than in each individually all right so what am I missing over here because I really feel like I should check out this last bit here oh wait I bet you I know underneath this pole because it's yeah and to get underneath that pole, we go... Actually, that's probably the shortest way, is to use the painting uh, checkpoint up here and jump down to the T-Rex. Yeah, um, because you might have seen before when I smashed into the... Ooh, smashed into the uh, uh, electrical pole using the powers of the chomp. Well, it works just the same with the T-Rex. If you don't have a chomp nearby, oh jeez, the coins flipping all over. You know what? I'm not gonna. Oh, that's. How do I get over there? I do... do I have to go actually all the way around? I mean, I guess that's. It's pretty plausible. But 
Yeah, he, I, I thought he could walk over that. <laughs> all right, I just wanted to. I should probably refresh my T Rex, otherwise I'm gonna be pooped out because it's such a large thing for Cappy to hold on to. All right, so we're gonna loop. <laughs> we're gonna be just fine going this way, I suppose. I guess, I think. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's how you do it. Forgot that you could not. <laughs> Luigi's a little freaked out by the dino, but don't worry, we're okay. Every, everyone's okay, it's just me, it's Mario. Yep, it was underneath that. Oh man, I should have known. <laughs> and yes, the uh, power line still exists, it just falls to the ground after you destroy a po power line, then yeah. Under the old electrical pole. And with that, I think I can safely end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I collect more stuff, because there's still more stuff. I mean, let's not beat around the bush here. Plus, there's main moons that I still didn't collect from when I came through here the first couple of times, and yeah, yeah.